Hi dearest, how are you doing? You are welcome back to another video, our fourth video actually in our series on how to make money as a millionaire or a tailor. So today I'm going to be showing you what I did to this piece of material that was got, that was left over from making this gorgeous looking gown. But before we get into that, let us find out who won the competition in this video. Now it is Francisca Agado. Congratulations. Please do contact us in the Vencraft Academy reception in the link in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get straight into today's video. Looking at the gown, I felt a small fascinator would do because the, the tailor actually said that the client was going to use it for a wedding. Okay, so I decided to check first of all if it would cover up one of the molds I already have left over. If you check the description of this video, you will see um, other videos that would help you out on how to mold, on what to do, best practices and molding and some other ones. So you want to check the description of this video for more links on how to do that. So I'm doing a check right now. In fact, I couldn't wait for morning. You can see I'm still in my pajamas. Anyway, let's get moving. Okay, so I decided to check it first of all to see if the largest piece I had would cover it up and it did. Okay, so let's cut out that piece. As usual, I advise that before you cover up your mold, your molded base, the best thing to do is to fix in your um, what you're going to use to attach the fascinator to your head. In this case, I'm going to be making use of the thin elastic band. So what you want to do is take your needle and thread and sew it to the molded fascinator base. So I'll do one part for you and you do the other. Keep watching and learn. Okay, that done, the next thing is to cover up our molded fascinator base. Okay, before you do that, you need to um, hold down your elastic band so that it doesn't cause any obstruction. And I'm making use of V6000 here because my Uhu gum traveled. So, but the best actually is to use your Uhu. You can check the description below this video to know the best glue for fascinators. It's there below this video. All right. So let's keep watching and learning. What do we shout here? North, South, <coughs> East, and West. If you're new to this, please don't be worried. Just go below the, the description of this video. You will see how to mold with pad and that will take you through step-by-step -step process on how to do this. So let's rush in to the next step. Okay, so I got the lace that was left over from that cloth also and I decided to cut out some small lovely patterns that I saw on the lace. Keep watching and learning. If you look at my left hand side you can see I really cut out plenty because I wasn't so sure yet what I'm going to do. Well, I was sure what I was going to do but I didn't know the quantity I would be needing. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking some of those pieces and I'm going to paste them all around my molded fascinator bit and also along a one yard um, length of 1.5 inch thick crinoline. Keep watching and learning. <music> Okay, next I'm going to be forming like a double bowl or something with, is a double bowl, yeah, with the thick crinoline. So keep watching and learning. and unique so that's what I did 
and I checked it on the fascinator base and it was looking fine so I decided to sew it up together so it has that stand. Keep watching and let You also have to sew it this way to ensure that it stands properly. That's holding the two meter together. Now it's time to cover up all of the rough edges. it felt a bit plain for a wedding so I decided to dash it up with some feathers what do you think without or with the feathers look at it after it's done and let me know in the comment section below thank you and that's how I made this lovely looking suede fascinator so if you gain value from this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on any of this series on how to make money more money as a tailor or millionaire please do click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and yes who wants to win to attend a class of your choice in the Ventcraft Academy then you answer this question what was the second video in this series what's the name of the second video in this series do let me know in the comment section below until we meet next time it's goodbye and god bless check out this next video